So I've recently been asked about the baritone sax mouthpiece, which I use on the tuba, <coughs> especially when I'm improvising, um, how it sounds. People wanted to see, to hear how it sounds, having seen a photo of it. And uh, basically, there are three different ranges of the <coughs> um, with this mouthpiece, which are possible and useful. Uh, starting down at the, at the pedal register, you can actually play predictable tones, which is very useful at times. to recognize what tone it actually is. You can hear it's getting lower because the vibrations are getting further apart. Okay, and uh, playing around with the tongue, you can soften or sharpen up the sound of, the, of, that, of those tones. tongue along the reed, I can soften it quite considerably. And play around with the, the intonation uh, quite a lot. Then we have this middle register, which uh, produces relatively unpredictable results. And that I do with uh, half valvings. So, for example, this one I'll just play on the with the fourth valve halfway down, or the first valve produces this tone. I put the first valve down a little further, I think we get a different tone. sometimes, which are very nice, actually. And you can improvise and play around with that quite a lot. But it's not a very good idea for a composer to write, to try to write specific tones in that register because there's no guarantee that they're going to appear on the day, on the bandstand. And the last area, the third area, which is interesting, is the squeaky high register stuff, which to a certain extent, extent can be controlled. <coughs> as far as technique is concerned because I just bite on the reed and um, I'm sure that's uh, not a, uh, a very uh, sensible traditional woodwind technique however it works well on the tuba <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 